why would the car go backwards when you press the forward button? I don't know. I think we need to take a look at the code. So you can see uh, the uh, PDF file has a nice convenient value so what they call the middle red button is going to be stop and this is the key value for stop. Above triangle I would assume is the forward arrow. Below triangle is the reverse arrow. Left triangle and right triangle. So um, let's take a look at the code. So the above triangle is 167.36.925. This is the this is the infrared remote control car, and if we look at this, one sixty seven thirty six nine twenty five one sixty seven thirty six nine twenty five. This is defined as A. So let's go into the code. There's the back, forward, left, right, and stop code. There's the setup code. And now we're going to call and decipher the results from the infrared. If red equals A, we do the move forward function call. So that code looks correct. So there are a couple possible things here. This can be changed in software, or it can be changed in hardware. As you see here, uh, what they say is go forward is in one on the H bridge is low and in two is high, in three is low and in four is high. And so now this is on the H bridge controller. Um, you would think that because we tested the design with the move right wheels and move left wheels software that this would be working correctly. Um, so let's go and take a look at that program, move right wheels. Um, so we're going to open Lesson one, um, right wheel rotation. And we're going to compare these. 